the materials you'll need for this project are 5 millimeter EVA craft foam, any scratch paper, an exacto knife, contact cement, black plasti dip, mesh, this is from an old backpack, silver spray paint, masking tape, silver acrylic paint, and a hot glue gun. So the dome I am using for this helmet is the dome that I made in my last video. And right now I'm using some scratch paper just to roughly find out the shape of the ear. And you're gonna have to guess and check, just cut a semicircle out of the bottom of your piece of paper and then put it up on your helmet and just guess and check the shapes and look at an image of the helmet from the front and side to get your shape. And the ear on this helmet starts just past halfway the middle of the dome. All right, so now that I've got my template, I'm gonna go trace it onto the foam and then turn it into the ear. Now that you have your shape traced onto the foam, we're gonna cut it out with your X-Acto blade and make sure that it's at a steady 90 degrees the whole way through the cut. And if you want to get a clean cut every single time, you're gonna need to either switch out your blades or sharpen them because if you don't, then the blade will catch and the piece will come out looking rough. And then I just applied some contact cement where I laid out the line and on the piece and then I waited five minutes and stuck them together. And after I attached the ears, they were looking a bit bare on the back, so I took a piece of craft foam and I shaved away the edges to where it was a triangular shape, and then I made it a rounded on the edges, and then I applied some contact cement and then stuck them on. A handy trick to applying contact cement to where it's even all around is you stick it on and then you get a spare piece of foam and then you spread it out so it's not all gloppy, it's all even. And then I got some more construction paper and I made a ring around half of the helmet and I drew out the rough shape looking at a reference image to get the general idea of what the shape would be like and then I cut it out and traced it onto the foam. And a good trick to making sure that you line up your pieces is to have registration marks on the lines that are gonna meet and also to have labels on which sides the front and if it's left or right. And these two pieces right here are going on the back half of the helmet. And where I live, there isn't any bigger sheets of this available, but if you could find a bigger sheet, then this could all just be one piece. Heat forming foam is very simple. You just get a hair dryer or a heat gun and you apply heat to whatever you want to bend and then you bend it and then you wait for it to dry in its final position. And then just apply some more contact cement and stick it together. For this front faceplate, I just looked at reference images and found the contour from the side and then drew it on foam and then cut it out. To make sure this piece is centered, you will find the seam line from the top of the helmet and then use that as your reference point. And the pieces of foam I used for the eye sockets were way too square, so I just rounded them off with my X-Acto knife. And then I took another piece of scratch paper and I taped it in the side and found out the rough shape of what the huge cheek piece would look like and then I traced it onto foam and labeled it and then I cut it out and heat formed it to the right contour and then I applied some contact cement and waited five minutes for it to dry and then I attached it making sure all the seams were secure. And then I noticed that both sides of my helmet were not symmetrical, so I had to make a, another template for the other side, and then I again followed the same steps, cut it out, heat formed it, applied some contact cement, and then stuck it on. And then I looked at a reference image and cut in all the detail lines. Now that you've gotten all your detail lines etched in and heated up, it is time to paint. When it came to painting this helmet, I used a special primer called Plasti Dip 
This stuff works great on craft foam. It wouldn't work if you use regular spray paint because it would flake off, but this stuff basically allows the foam to flex and bend and it won't flake off. And make sure to follow the directions on the can, which means three to four coats. Those detail lines that I etched in earlier are supposed to be silver, so I masked off where the lines are and then I painted them silver and just be careful, make sure to take your time so it looks good. And when I was cutting the lines in the foam, I just made sure to get all the specific silver details. I didn't really focus on all the tiny little black details. If you're making this, please take your time when you're painting because if you rush, it'll come out a lot worse than if you take your time. Now I've painted all the silver details on front and back. So now all we have left to do is glue the silver mesh behind the eyes, which I spray painted with silver paint. All right, so this is what the helmet should look like with the eyes glued in. I think it looks great and that's it. That's how to make a Black Panther helmet. And that is how you make your very own Black Panther helmet. It was a very enjoyable process to make and if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and if you have any further suggestions on any future projects I should make leave them in the comment section down below. This has been RJR Productions signing off till next time.